Hello and welcome back to yet another Fine and Country property tour. Today I'm going to be showing you around one of the coolest entertaining homes I've seen in a while. We've got quirky interiors, a bowling alley and a home cinema I cannot wait to show you. So let's get straight on with the tour. So how cool is this? Obviously I was drawn straight to this area because it's looking more like an arcade or a super trendy bowling bar than somebody's home. So you can imagine having everybody over for a party. It would be so much fun here. There are loads of vintage pieces throughout the property which I think are so fitting with this home. My favourite has to be these carnival signs and funfair signs. You instantly know you're going to have a good time here. And then I love that we've got bowling shoes here for guests and then reclaimed cinema seating as well so people can sit and wait for their turn to bowl. Now, it might look like we're in this trendy bowling bar in the middle of Shoreditch, but we are actually in St. Leonard's on Sea in a four bedroom conversion, which has loads of history. And I'll tell you more about that as we go through the tour. The current owners have designed this open plan room for entertainment and leisure and each section of the room have their own feel and atmosphere and tucked away in the corner here there is this lovely seating area and a huge screen so it's perfect if you want to invite people over to watch sports or of course if you want to watch a film but as i mentioned there is also a home cinema room which i'll be showing you in a bit over here there is another seating area and I really like the styling of this. I want to draw your attention to this unassuming chest, which is actually an old record player. On this side of the room, there's an office area, but as you're surrounded by arcade games, I can't imagine getting any work done. There's this old shuffleboard here and this basketball game as well. So still in the main reception room, the kitchen area feels like it's in its own room, being mostly under the mezzanine level. Now the design itself is an eclectic mix of materials which combine really nicely to create an industrial style, which is actually a nod to the property's history. As you can see, we've got lots of open shelving here, prep space and storage. Plus, I really like the retro style pieces that tie in really nicely together. There's also a Cuisine Master oven and an AEG extractor fan above, plus an integrated dishwasher and space for an American style fridge freezer. Then over here, I just want to draw your attention to these industrial lockers, which are super cool and they act as your pantry storage. I mentioned the property's history as a swimming pool and actually you can see the original tiling here that went around the perimeter of the swimming pool and it actually goes around the entire room. So instead of filling in the swimming pool, the current owners decided to build in a trap door which gives you access into an entire room below the floorboards currently used for storage. Completing the kitchen is this huge dining table, which can seat so many people around, perfect for this style of property. Now let's move on and see what we've got up these stairs. Access from the kitchen round the reclaimed spiral staircase is this mezzanine area with a slightly more sophisticated seating area this time. 
There's a great vantage point of the open plan reception room and I've got a view of the church's history, the stained glass windows. The Bath House is possibly one of the most historic and cleverly converted homes in St. Leonard's. Dating back to 1875, the past of this Grade 2 listed home tells stories of a school swimming bath, a church and a glass factory. Completely dilapidated on purchase, this wonderful property was renovated into this fun family home. St. Leonard's on Sea is a lovely seaside town with attractive Regency architecture, lush green parks, including St. Leonard's Garden, just right next door to the property, and of course, a seafront promenade with incredible views from St. Leonard's on Sea Beach. Again, a very short walk from Bath House. Not only that, but the town of Hastings is on your doorstep. Amble through the old town to discover period buildings, excellent long-standing and maritime themed pubs and restaurants, and cool antique shops, all making it a popular tourist destination. Hastings is also quite the location for its history and the arts, offering Hastings Museum and Art Gallery, Hastings Contemporary, a museum of British art, and Hastings Fisherman's Museum, which is dedicated to the fishing and maritime history of the area. Taking you from seafront level to the east and west hills of Hastings, the east and west hill cliff railways are another bit of preserved history. The east hill funicular lift provides easy access to the country park, popular with ramblers and dog walkers, while the west hill lift takes you to the ruins of Hastings Castle. Now, obviously with this property, it's all about what's on the inside, but there is a handy little side garden with a glimpse of the sea. And I wanted to take you round to the front of the property because again, we have evidence of the property's history as a church through the architecture. I also mentioned that this is a four bedroom family home. So let's go and check out the bedrooms. Spanning across the entire first floor, the principal room makes use of every inch of the space. So there are industrial style storage cupboards on the landing there. Then I really love this statement wall here. And of course, this roll top bath is super unique and sophisticated. Then you've got more wash facilities. There's a walk-in shower, a WC and a wash basin. Any guest would be lucky to stay in the guest bedroom suite. This room has a sash window to the front with a stone surround and wooden shutters. In the ensuite bathroom, discover a beautiful Victorian style bathroom where a copper roll top bath takes prime position and there are beautiful twin sinks. Another bedroom is currently fitted with clever carpentry that can sleep up to seven people, an exciting room for children to explore. There is also a guest WC and shower as well. We're on the lower ground floor now, and as you might be able to tell, we're in the home cinema. Perfect for movie nights with the entire family or entertaining your friends. And as you can see, it's been entirely padded out, so it's super comfortable. And there's a huge projector screen as well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you've had just as much fun as I have. And if you have, then please give this video a like and let me know what you think down in the comments section. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another tour.